everyone, Chocolate Boat here for another video review. It's the new, 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 new Cadbury Dairy Milk Salted Caramel Nibbles. Yes. There you go. So basically, they're sort of, I guess they're sort of um, buttons. Well, they are buttons essentially, but with a caramel filling. And they've put uh, salted caramel flavouring into these, or salted caramel. Well, salted the caramel, I guess you know. <laughs> Words of a better term. Um, now, they have done a quite a few in the salted caramel range, Cadbury. They've just jumped on the salted caramel bandwagon about five years too late, you might say. I think they've done salted caramel. Well, basically, the Dairy Milk Caramel Bar. I've done actually chocolate fingers salted caramel as well. Um, what else have they done? They did a salted caramel whisper, didn't they, as well, which is a long time coming. Um, and there's maybe one other thing that I can't quite recall. And then this one as well, yes, salted caramel nibbles. So, very excited for this one. Now, the problem with them in the past, I'm assuming it's going to be the same with this one because I assume it's the same salted caramel. They just weren't very salty. You know, could you really, if you didn't know it was salted caramel, would you? So sort of no, you know, would you be able to? Would you say, oh yeah, that's salted caramel? I'm not too sure. So that's one thing to look out for here. Yeah, looking at the packaging a bit more, you can see it's got um, blue here for uh, basically blue seems to be the salted caramel colour. Um, yeah, seems to be the sort of standard now for salted caramel. You see, so sort of that colour on products it tends to stand for salted caramel usually anyway from what I've seen. And obviously the yellow here for uh, for the caramel itself, and uh, which is a Cadbury. <laughs> well, it's usually is yellow for caramel, isn't it? But it's the Cadbury uh, caramel colour. Oh, damn little camera now, I think it's called. And you can see the watermarking behind there as well. Let's just take it from the uh, Cabri Australia products as well. Um, see all around it, they did it originally, and Cabri UK have copied that, and I think it does look pretty good. So lots of dates and says dairy milk and things, and yeah, that's pretty nice. I think Cabri Australia is a lot more interested in Cabri UK really. I mean, if their dairy milk is as nice as uh, Cabri UK dairy milk, although of course it could just depend on the fact that I've been brought up on UK Cabri chocolate, but. Uh, but they just have so much more variety of products, lots of different wacky stuff down there. Really interesting, whereas in the UK, they just have a lot of quite regular boring. This is probably as extreme as it gets generally, isn't it? You know, maybe some of the Marvel's Creations ones, but, uh, you know, yeah. But, uh, but even then, they've toned back those, haven't they, over the past few years. So, yeah, so a bit disappointing, really. But I say in Australia, they just, it's part of the course, they have some, I don't know, jelly products in there, chocolate and all sorts of different kinds, marshmallow and stuff in there, Cadbury things. You know, very interesting, really, but, yeah. What does it say on the back? What does it say? We've got the Coca Life thing. It says 100% the same source of cocoa. We'll definitely look into that if you're interested in that sort of thing. Because 100% is a bold claim, and I think sustainably sourced is a bit of a. Yeah, it's, it's a bit subjective, basically, as whether something is sustainable or not. And part of fair trade to improve the lives of cocoa farmers and our environment. And he elaborates a bit more by saying, By E.T. Cadbury, you've been encouraging environmental so sustainability. Coca Life helps farmers get the most from their cocoa trees for environmentally friendly farming. Visit cocolife.org. It says recycled bags at large supermarkets, don't recycle at home. Um, it's still strange that, isn't it? But there we go. Never seen. I only see it on package. I don't know. Does anyone do that? Let me know if you do that. I don't. Uh, I don't even know if people know about it. Really, it seems very strange as well. But there we are. It's a bunch of girls, 498 calories, 26 grams of fat, 15 of which are saturates. That's pretty good. Usually, chocolate bars tend to be between 500 to 550 calories per 100 grams. So this is lower than that. So not bad at all. Per eight pieces, 24 grams, 119 calories, 6.2 grams of fat, 3.5 of which are saturates, and it's a 120 gram bag. So yeah, so that's roughly, roughly, oh what is that, yeah roughly, yeah, no, about, about a fifth, if the maths is correct, more calorie stuff there, there's the last beautified description, milk chocolates with a soft salted caramel centre, 25%, yeah, so what's the uh, other 75%, <laughs> I mean it's bizarre that isn't it, I think it's in the caramel centre is 25% of it, so 75% of it's uh, chocolate, I think that's what it's trying to say, but there we are, might not read that way though, it's got palm fat there, so it's about sustainably sourced stuff, but it's got palm fat in it, so definitely something to bear in mind. It's got double asterisks next to the milk, the equivalent of 426 millilitres of fresh liquid milk in every 227 grams of milk chocolate. All right, there we go. Milk chocolate, milk size 27 minimum, actual 23. I still don't understand. <laughs> it just tells me what it is, you know, don't tell what the minimum is, but it's strange that, but I don't know if it varies from packet to packet, but even so. It contains special fats in addition to cocoa butter. There we are. All right, there we go. Any other stuff on it? Nothing particular on the bottom. I say there's a crimp on the top, so the pack is a lot smaller than you'd expect. So it's actually about that big. So that big at least, and then there's some there in it. Um, got some stuff on the side. Maybe unless it's from Cabby UK Limited, so it's saying get in touch and not happy, stuff like that. And on the other side, it's got uh, the Queen approved. So it says the Queen, yeah, so I wonder if they're going to change this, or whether it's just the fact that the Queen did it in the past and it will just stay that way forever, I don't know. By appointment to Her Majesty of the Queen, Cocoa and Chocolate Manufacturers, Cabby UK Limited, Bourneville. So it's vegetarians. It's got the phone number and symbol there as well. Well, they're confusingly because it's got recycle there as well, so it's a bit strange that, isn't it? But there you go. Mixed, uh, mixed messages, perhaps you would say. 
All right, well, let's move myself down, give them an open, see what's in there, see what they look like, and uh, yeah, investigate further. So let's do it. Let's give them an open. Okay, then, everyone, I'm going to give these new Cadbury Dare Milk Salted Caramel Nibbles an open. Yes, I'm very excited for these, very excited indeed. A little pull tab at the top, so uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. So, time for it is on about 2020 reviews, believe it or not. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. In the top right corner of the place, all my other reviews, well, some related ones, such as other Dare Milk ones, other Cadbury ones, other Salted Caramel ones. So, after you watch this one, then hit the like and subscribe buttons. Go check this out. You can do this too. Mm. Mm, smells very nice. Lovely, lovely Dare Milk smell coming from them. You can see there. That's a lot in the bottom, but uh, definitely, <laughs> I mean, look at that, there's just so much, it's just, compared to the size it was before, I mean, look at this, this is actually how much is in it, and you couldn't fold it down, it's because it's full of air, or whatever, you know, and then bear in mind as well that there was this topper on top, so it could look even bigger, you know, I can't quite show you perfectly there, but you know what I mean, so it was a lot, it looked a lot bigger than that, didn't it, before, and then, uh, so you get down to actually what's in it, it's just this little chunk at the bottom. Pretty disappointing that. Alright, let's see how many is actually in there, shall we? Let's pour them out. Give it a go. Yeah, that's all of them. Let's see any more. Okay, let's have a look. So, I mean, there is a weightage on the back. It's 120 grams. But, uh, you know, let's see how many of them are. <laughs> might, might matter, you never know. Alright, so, uh, yes. So, we've got a little nubbin on top. Let's just give it five. Alright, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Quite a few, feels like there's quite a lot in here, I must say. Mm. Yes. Alright, so there we go. So yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 39 I think I count, so if I've got it right. I think I, think I have, yeah. Maybe I'll put 6 or 4 in a section of so I don't think it's right. Yeah, pretty good. And that's what they actually look like. So they're all, you know, they're not identical, but they generally look like this. You can see where they've been dripped on. I don't know how they've managed to get the caramel in the middle. You can see, uh, obviously, chocolate is dripped. Probably, I don't know, it's got, it's got chocolate underneath. So I don't know how they get the caramel in the middle. Presumably, they just drip it on, then drip the chocolate on top. You can see that little trail at the top as well, where the uh, where the piper or whatever it is has, uh, has left that. So they all seem to have that. So you can see where that's got. More like little berets, I guess you'd say. <laughs> All right, yeah, interesting. All right, so what's the uh, measurements? Let's have a look. As I said, not perfect circles, so, you know, individual results may vary, but uh, about 2.4, 2.5, down into there. And the height, without the nubbin, as best I can, about uh, six millimeters, but with the nubbin, about nine. That's the centimeter, actually. Seems quite a lot of difference, but there we go. Yeah, all right, and so we'll just measure another random one. Do seems to be quite, uh, Standard sizes, but they're not 2.6 in this case. Width, yeah, so there we go. All right, let's have a see a snap one in half, see what the uh, center looks like. So you can see their nice camel layer there. Quite uh, difficult to see perfectly, but you can kind of make out the not camel there. So quite a lot of chocolate, but uh, definitely a you know, millimeter or so of a layer of caramel in there as well. So nice, interesting, yeah. Hmm. You can see they're not really a golden caramel, but uh, you know, definitely caramelish. <laughs> definitely like a yellowish colour, but not golden caramel, that's for sure. So yeah. All right. Well, I think I need to lift myself up and give them a taste. So let's do it. Let's lift myself up and give them a go. <laughs> Looking forward to this. Okay, then everyone, I'm going to give these uh, Cadbury Dairy Milk salted caramel nibbles a taste. Very excited for these ones, very excited indeed. So we have opened them before, as you would have seen, but now we're going to give them a go. So we've got, um, I mean, this is what they look like basically. You can see. Little cabby buttons essentially, but with a camel center. Not flat though, not like buttons. You can see they've got a drip mark on top. Not really focusing very well, I apologize for that, but I think you got the gist of it. So, yeah, so there we go. So, not perfect buttons, but nonetheless, look pretty good. Not like little berries, as I say. <laughs> All right, let's uh, give them a taste. Let's do it. Mm. Definitely, um, did you taste like salted caramel? I think that was the thing I said at the start. And not really, again, I'm not really getting a massive salted caramel taste. I'm getting a, a caramel taste from it. It's like that sort of buttery caramel that Cadbury do. It's nice. I guess maybe it's just tastes a bit, it tastes a bit more, I wouldn't say salty, but maybe, maybe a bit more bitter or something, I don't know, than a regular Cadbury's caramel, maybe. But if you just had this on its own, I don't think you would have said, oh yeah, it's salted caramel for sure. I mean, it's not really, you know, it tastes slightly different, but... You know, let's try two at once, let's see how, the way to do it, I say. Mm. 
Hmm. I mean, they're nice though. In the demo, it might be slightly lost, you know. I mean, it's more than what the camel taste for sure. Hmm. Maybe it's slightly salty, maybe it's a slightly salty camel, but it doesn't really, you know, you're not really tasting a massive sort of salty taste, you're just tasting a bit more of a, let's say, a bit more, I want, maybe, bit, maybe it is more of a salty camel taste rather than a bitter camel, but it comes, if you had to ask me what does it taste like, I would say it's a bit more bitter than a regular Cadbury camel taste, and it probably is more the fact that it's just, you know, the salty flavour in there, but, um, I don't know, for whatever reason, it just doesn't come across that salty bit, it's not a great, I mean, I don't know, it's where to draw the line, but I feel like you should be able to, it should taste like salt, if you know what I mean. That's how I feel salted caramel should taste, pretty much. At least, you know, maybe not ridiculously so, but at least give you that sort of taste sensation. And then, I don't feel like the caramel products do, they just taste, as I say, a bit more, it just come across as a bit more of a bitter taste. But it's still really nice, I still like these, you know, it's still, you know, camel censored dairy milks, basically, um, but in button form. Um, and they're nice, you know what I mean? They are really nice. You don't think they're gonna blow your socks off, but you know, they have it. They they clearly are what they are, and they do it well. You know, they taste nice. They look nice. Um, yeah, lovely to eat. It's got a nice chocolate. I mean, the dairy milk you, you don't really be able to discern it too well because of the caramel, but um, it's still nice. Definitely mouth water really nice. I'm not saying mouth watering for more of them. And the caramel's a nice sensor as well. You get enough of it there. It's um, you know, it's well proportioned for sure. Um. I just feel like the salted camel part, but you know, maybe had them side by side or so, yeah, this one tastes a bit different. And to be honest with you, it does come across as slightly different, but I don't know if I'm sort of bold away. You know, I've had this, I don't think I'd say, oh, you know, that's a, you know, hmm, hmm. Well, yeah, salted camel, you know, hmm. It just tastes like camel, really. Hmm. Side by side, I'm sure with the regular ones, I'm sure it tastes a different spot. Yeah, so it's the same with all the other Cadbury uh, salted caramel products. They are very difficult, really, to discern the fact it's salted caramel unless you've got them side by side. I mean, even then, I'm not sure, but I'm just assuming they would be different, you know. So, hmm. So, Cadbury's Dairy Milk for me is generally a four out of five. This got caramel in there as well. Is it enough to bump it up to a four and a half? I don't know. I'm not sure really what. I don't, you know, the thing is, I don't look what I've given products previously, it's like, you know, Dairy Milk Caramel or whatever. So, I'm hoping that doesn't mean I'm going to be inconsistent. But obviously, I re, you know, I give it the score I think it is. And hopefully, I'm consistent in, what, in reasons why I give things scores. And obviously, things change over time anyway. I think for me, is it enough to give it more? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think the thing with Cadbury's Dairy Milk on its own, the fact it's just got so much, it's just a big, thick block of chocolate, that adds something in itself. By adding the caramel, you actually are also taking away what's magical about a dairy milk block of chocolate so but you are replacing it with something else that's quite nice but i don't know if it actually improves it you it just it's like a sideward step almost so i think for me it's a high four um but not quite enough for a four and a half so i think for me four out of five but really nice but as i say salty camel fans might be a bit disappointed i think all right, guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out YouTube and Pro and Discord server. Links below is in the description. Check out one of the videos appearing on the screen now. Great to support my channel, like you to watch my content. Leave a like and leave a comment for free. Always great to hear from you. Always do most reply. And have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now. See ya.